Have you noticed fast food starting to feel like a luxury? The rising prices and value most popping up everywhere. Let's explore what's happening at fast food and how it affects you. These days, it seems like everything is getting more expensive. From groceries to gas, the cost of living just keeps rising. Because of this, many people are starting to treat fast food like a luxury instead of a regular meal. This is causing sales at popular places like McDonald's to, to drop off and go down. So what's it mean when fast food becomes a luxury? Well, when prices go up, people often choose to spend their money on something they think is worth it. Instead of grabbing a quick burger, they might decide to stay at home and cook and save the extra cash for rent. This impact on spending habits is hurting fast food sales. McDonald's has seen fewer customers going through the doors in recent months. Since more and more people are watching their spending, social media is buzzing with questions about high fast food prices. As prices keep going up, people get more concerned. People are asking why multiple pounds of potatoes can cost the same as a single hash brown. This confusion highlights the impact of inflation and supply chain issues. It seems unfair that you can get a bag of potatoes for a couple dollars and then one hash brown costs almost exactly the same. A typical fast food meal for a family of four can cost anywhere from $30 to $50. The average wage of $16.60 per hour for fast food workers means that families may need to work between 1.8 to 3 hours just to afford a meal. This disconnect frustrates customers and leads them to think about their dining choices. Fast food chains like McDonald's are trying to draw in customers by rolling out value meals. Though but by bundling items together for a lower price, they'll attract more people. But will this strategy really work? While value meals might seem like a good deal, if the overall costs keep rising, they're not so much of a value. And instead, people are choosing to skip fast food and eat at home. Fast food restaurants struggle to set up a balance between these two issues. Another big concern is the impact of these changes on employment. In the United States, around 3.5 million people work in the fast food industry. Many times, these jobs are young workers just starting out. If fast food chains continue to struggle and locations close down, this could lead to a significant increase in unemployment. Young workers may find it harder to land their first job, affecting their future career paths. The recent decision to close a major French fry supplier, Lamb Weston, adds to these challenges. With fewer fries available for restaurants like McDonald's, prices are definitely likely to go up. When a restaurant can't get the food they need, they have to raise prices for customers. That's just simple supply and demand. Something's harder to get, people are willing to pay more for it. So the next time you go to order those famous fries, you might notice they cost a bit more than before. But it's not just about fries. As fast food sales continue to drop and costs keep climbing, many restaurants may need to raise prices. This is across the board on their menus and items just to stay in business. This means an item you once enjoyed for a low price could be more expensive, and that can definitely have an impact on your budget if it was a daily or weekly habit. As we navigate these rising costs, it's also important to remember that safety is a concern when dining out. When we eat at fast food places, we expect our food to be safe. But sometimes mistakes happen and people can get hurt. If you ever had a bad experience at a restaurant, you know how important it is to be careful. If you find yourself in pain from an accident at a fast food place, remember, you're not alone. Our law firm, Shane Smith Law, is here to help. We've helped a lot of people have been injured at fast food or any kind of restaurants where they slipped and fell. You can call us at 980-999-9999. We understand how important it is to feel safe when you eat out. Our catchphrase, in pain, call Shane. If something goes wrong, we want to make sure you have somebody to turn to for help. Make sure you take pictures of the scene. To wrap it up, the rising cost of living and inflation are turning fast food into a luxury for many people. Sales at places like McDonald's are dropping, and with the closure of a major fry supplier's plant, we can expect even higher prices in the future. Fast food restaurants are trying to survive by offering value menus, value meals. We should all pay attention to how rising costs affects our own choices, and whether it impacts the job market or not. If closures happen, we could see a rise in unemployment, especially young, along young workers. Let's hope that value mills can help bring people back to restaurants and save us all a little bit of money.